I was pissed, man. Wow, Finally. look how deep it is. Yeah. That's insane. That's nuts. That point there, that wow. don't exist. What's up? This is Richie and Jamie from the Where We Wild YouTube channel, and today we're gonna do a director's commentary on the very first time we ever rented a boat at Castaic Lake. I had fished it from shore a couple times, um, like twice, yeah, and barely knew anything about it. Um, this was two years ago, mm -hmm. almost three years ago, right? Yeah. And uh, this is the first time we ever rented a boat. You didn't even fish it. Nope. I, haven't e I hadn't even taught you how to fish yet. Nope. You had no clue. No idea. So I was just kind of out there by myself and, and uh, trying, to, trying to fish, man. It was, oh man, it was hotter than hell. Yeah. Um, I guess August, it was my birthday. It was my, oh, was it, it? it was right around my birthday, okay. I think, in August. And uh, hotter than hell. Bite was super tough, I guess. I had no idea what to use. No. I had heard the stripers were, were boiling a little bit. And so I was kind of told to like, go try to find the boils, couldn't find them, didn't know where to go, knew nothing about the lake, ski arm, fish arm, no clue, no, no idea what coves were good, nothing. I knew nothing about it yet. Um, so we're Which gonna- Which is so crazy, because it was only <clears throat> two years ago. Yeah, you know, I've learned a lot, I've come a long way. And, yeah. And you have too. So uh, yeah, two years ago, first time fishing Castaic Lake. Let's check it out. Crazy. Forty-five in the morning. I actually got Jamie up and into the shower. Look, there's the proof. I can't believe it. But I'm drinking coffee because there's there's only a few things in life that I refuse to be late for, and fishing is one of them. So it's true. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> I can't believe I got you up. I just killed the biggest spider I've ever seen in my life on the breakfast bar box. So as I reached for a breakfast bar, I went, whoa. <laughs> you, you can see the breakfast bar box behind me and literally 3.45 in the morning I went and I made a cup of coffee. I grabbed, wanted to grab one of those bars and there was a, a good sized spider right on it. And I murdered that thing, murdered it. I can't believe I, you you were so shot. You had just got out of the shower. Oh. This is our old place in West Hollywood. Yeah, it's crazy. I can't believe we lived in West Hollywood. That's crazy, right? It's so weird. It seems like another lifetime ago. It was only two, almost three years ago. I know. But it was not expecting me to wake up at this hour and murder it. I'll tell you that much. I'll tell you that much. All right, well, let's go fishing. We just got up to Castaic Lake and uh, we are sitting in a very long line of trucks and boats. Has no idea. I had no idea <laughs> that there were gonna be lines to get in. Yeah. I knew nothing about this lake. I didn't know you had to get there way before opening to we're try to six o'clock in the morning beat the line uh i don't even know what time they opened uh that day it, probably like seven maybe Six thirty-seven, yeah. something like that but i had no idea castaic was like the way it is yeah i had no idea that many people got there and jumped in line and everything i knew so nothing funny. you're questioning it you're like we're in a very long line yeah it's crazy <laughs> i just i just didn't know yeah. i just didn't know i had no idea Back for a while. 
I wasn't aware of the fact that they um, they don't let anybody in until 6.15, so I tried to get up here really early. I'm glad I didn't get here earlier. I, I thought you just showed up and went in. Yeah. I had no idea that they opened at a certain time, like it was closed mm -hmm. until they said, okay, we're open. I thought you could just go. Crazy. In New Jersey, they don't have that. No. That you just go. You know, even in Texas, when we went, like yeah. you just go to yeah. the lake whenever you can get up and you can get there. There's no there's no gate kiosk there's no... where you have to pay to get in. Yeah. Like this is all new to me, man. Yeah. All the big lakes out here in California seem to be like that. And mm -hmm. I'm just never had any experience with that. It's a totally different world. So we'll see. Got to rent a boat today and get out there. I hear the stripers are really hitting right now. So I'm a big bass fisherman largemouth usually but uh i wouldn't mind catching catching me some stripers a striper so never caught a freshwater striper until this day um everyone who has followed castaic and knows the history of castaic the stripers come from the east coast mm -hmm. someone brought them from the atlantic ocean in a friggin' crate over to san francisco uh years and years ago and they made it down the aqueduct to all these lakes so they're saltwater stripers from the Atlantic Ocean. And I, I've caught some in the ocean on striper trips, but never in a lake like this. Totally foreign to me. I've just been like largemouth bass and trout my whole life and then, you know, saltwater. Mm -hmm. It's my birthday it. tomorrow, so this is part of my birthday extravaganza. Doing a little fiesta <laughs> with Jane. Uh, the birthday boy. Yeah. All right, we'll see if we ever get on this damn lake. And, uh, I'm pissed already. Nothing's changed. You stoked? Or are you gonna be bored reading a book all day? I gotta get this girl to catch one fish. She's I'll, she's I'll new. Catch a fish. She's new. I've been Ooh, fishing. We're moving, we're moving. I've been fishing my entire life. She's new. But once I get her hooked, I'm gonna catch more than you. No pun intended. Then she'll she'll put the <laughs> the book the book down. I'm gonna catch way more than you. Catch Never a, a record. Now you got a shot. Yeah. Now you got a shot with yeah. that drop shot robo worm. <laughs> Sometimes I got to tie one on just to just to just compete. To keep up. Wow, that's, that's crazy, funny. right? So you would come and you'd bring a book and you would just sit and hang out and yep. catch some sun. Yeah. It's just crazy to and think about. And you'd always get so mad. Because I just couldn't understand, like, if you're out there, you know, why why not try yeah. to fish? Why not try to learn how to fish? It no. just seemed like you had like no interest in it. I, I guess I was just maybe intimidated because I didn't know how or I don't know, yeah. but But I'm already You pissed. were right. You were right. I was right. You you just you got me hooked. I caught one fish and, and I knew it because it's dead. addicting, man. And it's it's such an amazing adrenaline rush yeah. when you when you catch fish and yeah. you fall in love with it. Um, but I was not happy, man. Like when I go fishing, I want to be like I don't like the way Castaic is set up. Like it pisses me off. Like the second you can see in front of your hand in front of your face, you should be on that water fishing. Yeah. They make you wait till the sun is technically up and blah, blah, blah. Yeah. You should be fishing an hour or two before that. They open and close it right before the they, best time. They deprive you of the best times yeah. to fish. Yeah. It yeah. Sucks. sucks. It really sucks. Um, I've always hated that. So I'm already antsy. <laughs> I don't like it. I don't That's like why I that I have to. Changed. Yeah, I, I hate that. Every time we go, I'm like antsy. I just want to get out there and I hate having to wait. Yeah. Um, but I'm thinking to myself, I'm seeing how foggy it is. You can't see the water from, from the road. Everything's really foggy and I'm worried about that. Um, I didn't know they would actually, ha I didn't know it would affect it to the point it did, but I, I started getting a bad vibe about how foggy it was. Mm -hmm. I remember feeling like worried. That'd be sweet. All right, well, we're moving finally. What is with us in traffic? I don't know, we're not good at traffic. I didn't know they, they waited till 6.15 to open the gates of this place. I got this girl up at 3.36 in the morning. I'm impressed. Usually I can't get her up, but she got up. I think I got myself up. No, I, I said, do you want me to make you a cup of coffee? And you said, I guess. <laughs> you were not up. And no. it's foggy out here, dude. Yeah, see? Look at that fog. You can't even see. Usually right there you can see the whole lake. Yeah. Right off right in that by that telephone pole there and you couldn't. I that actually haven't seen severe. it foggy like that in no. since then. No. Crazy, right? Yeah.
Wow. Yeah, I knew it, man. Something was just off. There was people standing up there trying to look out at the water, mm -hmm. talking to each other, pointing. I was like, something's a little off here. Yeah. Crazy. And it's chillier than I thought. 53 degrees right now. It's because the sun's not up really at all. It's a bit um, nippy. But, I don't know. All right, let's 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 get this moving here. I want to I wanna get fishing. It's now almost eight o'clock in the morning. Now I'm pissed. Now I'm really we pissed. We had gotten into the lake, but uh, due to fog, they weren't allowing any boat rentals or any boat launches. So got up at 3.30 in the morning, got up here by, I don't know, almost six o'clock, waited till 6.15 for them to open the gate to be told that they have to wait for the fog to lift. But I am pissed. <laughs> I wanted to be fishing by now. Anyone who knows fishing knows that the best fishing is first, first thing, first light in the morning. Hopefully we'll get out on the lake at some point today. And uh, I'll catch a huge fish and make up for all this. We'll see what happens. Eight o'clock in the morning. I, we for, left. I forgot about that. We, we got in, mm -hmm. they said, we're not launching boats, so we, we went back over to that gas station area yep. and we got some snacks or something like that and mm -hmm. some water or whatever, right? We, yep. I remember getting like a banana yep. and something like that. I forgot about that. <sighs> they, they've they never done that since. What, the fog? Like not launching and stuff. Like From we wind. Have, we, we haven't we've, been affected. Like no, that. we haven't gone on a day because now that I know the place, yeah. I know to look to see Oh, it's way too windy. Don't yeah. even bother. You know, that's true. Um, the fog is a random thing. Yeah. I don't even know how you'd find out about that unless you went up there. Right. The wind I can see on the report, like, oh, they got a 30 mile, a 30, 40 mile an hour gust. Yeah. Like, you know, they might not be launching, but fog it was just such a random yeah. thing. Yeah. So weird. So now it's eight o'clock in the morning. We've been up since, I've been up since three, three o'clock. Mm -hmm. I was probably up at three. I got you up at 345, right? Mm -hmm. I'm pissed, man. I'm not happy. She's cool as a cucumber. I'm pissed. Why ruin your day? Put a smile on your face. I'm just disappointed. I wanted to be fishing. All right. So you understand and accept that you're disappointed, and then you just think about something nice and that it's your birthday. You tomorrow. see me biting my lip? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you're like, yeah. When okay. I when I bite my lip like that. I'm literally biting my lip. The 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 saying you're like biting your tongue. You're, yeah, right. Yeah. Exactly. The saying you're biting your tongue. I'm, yeah. I'm, my wheels are spinning and I'm angry <laughs> and I'm thinking of stuff and my brain's still moving and I'm thinking of like but 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 like and uh, and I'm I'm literally biting my tongue. Yeah, that's that's what it looks like. So if you ever see me doing that, that's, that's when my really wheels are nice. spinning and I'm not happy. <laughs> it's your birthday so. tomorrow. I'm very, like, easily aggravated, especially when it comes to stuff like this. No, no, no. You're easily aggravated, and then you stay aggravated. I don't know if it's just me. I can get mad at something, right? And I'm like, oh, that sucks. Give me five minutes. I cool off. Mm -hmm. That's not she, really true. Been... Do I have one rod? Yeah. I got one rod on me? Mm -hmm. Holy shit. <laughs> That's crazy. This is a lie, by the way. You can stay mad way longer than five it's minutes. I've been complaining. Maybe at you. Since 5.56 this morning. It's 7.51. Because I'm pissed. I, at this point, I had had it with you talking about how pissed you were. <laughs> I was like, that's enough. Like, I'm done. Listen, anybody who is excited to go fishing when they wake up three o'clock in the morning is not a happy camper if they're being dragged around eight o'clock a thousand percent i was there with you i too was like this sucks but to sit, like what you don't see when the camera's not recording is he he never stopped complaining for the whole time that i explained i don't know if it's complaining i was just pissed off no i know but i was like okay like let's you know because the later the listen we missed the reason why we had such a tough day out there is because we got out there so late and we missed the first bite. Trust me, I get it. Well, especially, I missed the first bite. You, especially you now, fishing. like 
now that I am right now that it, you know more about fishing, you yeah. understand that we missed the first wave. Yeah. Remember when I you came with me the day like when I was chasing the swim bait fish. Yeah. And you know, and you saw me like I I got that hit when I was there by myself, like second cast. Mm -hmm. Like you know what I mean? It was different then. You know, the lake this past year has been so different. They didn't even boil yeah. like this. Yeah. The small ones came up, the babies, but the big ones had to stay deep because the water was so low. Yeah. So yeah, no big boils happened this year like they were back then. Yeah. But we missed that first wave of fishing, that first bite. I wanted to be out there at six o'clock, you know, and then it would have died down a little bit. We would have, you know how it goes. Like yeah. you're not, especially late summer, you're not you're not supposed to catch fish at like high noon in late summer. Right. Like they're, it's too hot. Right. You know? So that's, that's why I was complaining. That's why I was so pissed. Cause I knew the later it got, like I, I, I already knew here that I had missed my first opportunity. Yeah. And now it was just going to drag ass all day in a hundred degree heat yeah. to try to stick it out and maybe get a bite here and there on like a Cinco or something like that. Yeah. And then, wait for that late afternoon bite yeah so no I, I you get weren't it. really aware of that type of stuff yet right so that's why i was so pissed off two hours <laughs> i have to listen to it <laughs> instead of just let's you know have an answer that makes me laugh hold on i'm rewinding but for two but for two hours <laughs> i have to listen to it <laughs> instead of just let's you know have a nice let's morning let's uh, just sit and wait Waste the whole day waiting in line of boats. <laughs> that was pissed, man. Finally. Wow, look how deep it is. Yeah. That's insane. That's nuts. That point there? That wow. don't exist. A tree right on the water? Is that wild? You know how high that is now? Holy God. What a difference gonna be a tough day it says yep but hopefully I'll find them look how short the dam is mm -hmm. no idea where to go no idea using my phone to spot code You find me a tree that close to the water's edge there now. 90 degrees outside. Oh, it kind of makes me sad how low the water level is now. I mean, they had, they, that's just, you know, hopefully it'll get back up. Where am I throwing? Top water? Wasn't it a popper? Yeah. Popper popper? Your pole cracked me up. Yeah, I was, I, was using a, I was using a nine foot ugly stick that I used to use <laughs> for like surf fishing. Yeah. Um, all the gear that I had when I first moved out here was not the right type of gear no. uh, for that lake. I mean, but listen, that, that's a medium action rod. Oh yeah. So like that's fine. It's just it's just a little too long to fish from yeah. a boat. That's that's the rod I would use to fish from shore because having a nine foot rod gives you more casting right. distance. It's just funny that two years ago you were using that and now you're using like St. Croix. Yeah, I know. I, yeah, I <laughs> just got awesome. all new stuff. But, yeah. but I didn't really bring, I was there you could tell I was there for striper boys. Yeah. I was not there to throw finesse stuff. No. I didn't have swim bait gear yet. Yeah. I wasn't into that yet. That was the rod I chose because I knew I, I knew exactly what I want to throw and it was top water poppers, mm -hmm. top water, you know, like um, walk the dog type bait, stuff like that. Yeah. I was thinking top water, top water, top water. Yeah. I think at some point I brought some Cinco's with me too that day, mm -hmm. but I was pretty much focused on Hey man, the stripers are boiling, the stripers are boiling, the stripers are boiling. Mm -hmm. And that was the best gear I had for that right. uh, type of fishing. So, and we just kind of spent the whole day driving around trying to find them. And uh, yeah, I don't know. I, I can't, I don't think I would only bring one rod though. I feel like I had one more and I had a Cinco tied on it, but I'm Maybe. not sure. Oh yeah. So I did, I caught a little bass on a Cinco. Yeah. Little largey 2 p.m. already I'm scared
skinnier. We we sat at home for two years. Yeah, that hurt. Yeah, that's right. This is right before the world changed. Yeah. Crazy. Yeah, I was getting way more exercise before COVID hit, huh? wasn't catching any fish so I just made a big montage of <laughs> fishing and you know like this is our third video yeah this is our third where we wild video so I got a lot to learn about editing and like how much dead downtime to like drag you guys through as you watch and like it's hard you know yeah. and especially like when you're not catching fish like if, if I had a day like this now it wouldn't there make would it on video. YouTube yeah like it just wouldn't happen because I know like, you know, that that's everything that kind of sucks is, and it kind of hurts my feelings a little because like I put so much work into the fishing videos and I match the music up and I try to do all kinds of cool stuff. And like, I can tell from the analytics that a lot of people that watch them, they just, they fast forward and they just stop on the fish, kind of see what I use to catch it. And then they keep going. They don't really appreciate the, yeah. and the other thing that is crazy I found out is like, a, the majority percentage of people who are watching the Castaic Lake videos aren't subscribed to the channel. Wow. So if you're out there watching our Castaic Lake fishing videos or anyone's videos on YouTube, if you're enjoying people's videos, please hit subscribe. Yeah. It makes a world of difference and it means so much to the creator because it, it makes you feel like you're not wasting your time. It makes you feel like people appreciate what you're doing and, yeah. and you're making progress and it's exciting and, and you feel good about it instead of like, am I just... Am I just totally wasting my time on YouTube? Should I just forget about this? So it gives us another reason to make the content. Yeah, too. I mean, you know, like we'd like to do this full time someday, and, yeah. and without people hitting subscribe, it's just not going to happen. Yeah. Uh, but I love it, man. I love editing, and I and I try my best to uh, to tell a story for you guys, and like keep it moving and stuff. Like fishing is a, a downtime type of thing. Like there's yeah. a lot of waiting. There's a lot of downtime involved. But like I try to, you know put it all together in music, tell the story. Um, I enjoy that as watching videos. I'm not the type that just fast forwards. Uh, like I like to see what the person has to offer as far as like the story of it. What went okay. on that day? Yeah. Like what, how are you feeling? Like what's going on, you know? But I understand a lot of people just want to watch to see how do I catch homework. fish? Yeah. What is he using? Yeah. I get it. But if you're out there watching our, uh, our fishing bits, please hit subscribe. It, it means the world to us and, uh, and any YouTube channel that you watch, you know? Um, that that's the that's a big deal to subscribers. It really means a lot to us. So yeah. thank you, and thank you if you're already subscribed. We really appreciate it. Let's see. <clears throat> that was obviously very excited about the fast moving boat. Yeah, some of, some of the most action. So 4 p.m. now. It's it looks like a wow. different lake. Man. Yeah. Still haven't really seen any boils. I think we might have saw one out in the middle at some point. I can't even imagine where no. where it is now. It's, it looks totally different. So crazy to me. Yeah, all of this is like... Oh, dude. high. mile up. Yeah. So we're just... All day I've just been basically driving around trying to spot boils, mm -hmm. pretty much. Um, I, I caught one little one on a Senko, you know, I didn't, I didn't know how to fish this place yet, man. I didn't, I didn't even, I wasn't even using drop shots yet. Yeah. I wasn't using Ned rigs yet. You weren't even using a mono leader. I wasn't using a mono leader yet. I was using just a uh, Fireline Crystal. Yeah. That's yeah. what I grew up throwing in New Jersey. Yeah. Um, Fireline. That was my favorite thing, man. And my buddy Ron, he said, "Dude, you better throw a leader on there yeah. because they're they're seeing it." I'm like, "Bullshit." I'm like, "This is like I've been using this my whole life, killing them, yeah. catching so many fish back in New Jersey." Yeah. But it's a different game out here. They're so finicky, so picky, line shy. So now I always have that eight pound mono or floral leader yeah. clear on yeah. there and it makes a difference it's crazy finesse especially when yeah. you're thrown into boils you could have Anything. any line you want yeah they're just in feeding frenzy mode yeah 
uh, top water. They don't have time to like come up and study it. It's a reaction bite. Right. Finesse, they're really studying it, looking it over. Yeah. They spot, spot that line, they're out. So here we go. 6 p.m. They're closing at 6 30. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. Of course. I'm down the ski arm, mm -hmm. right, of the lake on like if you're driving down the ski arm, we're to the left on the left shoreline and one of these little coves and I saw a little action in there and so we kind of just pulled up in there. I got a top water popper on, I can see it. It's a baby bass color um, with the little tail. That's like one of my favorite poppers of all time. I used to smash them in New Jersey on that thing. But look at the size of it. Mm -hmm. Like now I'm throwing a punker. <laughs> This is, you know, uh, I don't even know, eight, nine inch punker, yeah. eight on, you know, 30 pound test on a friggin' monster swim bait rod. Mm -hmm. That's what I'd be doing now if I saw this happening, but I didn't know any better. I didn't have that type of gear. So I got fire line on a nine foot medium rod, spinning reel and a, a little top water popper. And I see a little boil, I throw it in there. See what happens. And it's not a big boil either. No. They're just a little bit in there by the shore. They're, they're coming up. There they are. Here and there. And they weren't that big. No. As soon as it hits the water. Gone. That's how insane they are. Stripers fight, boy. Yeah. This thing's not even that big. This thing's like three pounds. Yeah. And maybe not even two pounds. I was freaking out. Two, three pounds at the most. Small, small striper. This is the first striper I ever caught there. First freshwater striper at anywhere. Um, and man, this thing was fighting, dude. Yeah. Crazy. Huge. In my drag. I didn't know how big it was yet either. It could talk so wow. long. It's beautiful. Second debate hit the waters, yeah? Yeah. Second debate hit the water. That's good for it. Yeah, dude, that thing. Oh, thing's nice job. Three pounds at the yeah. most. Face. Face with the. Okay. Smile. Look at that hat. Oh, I was a happy camper though, man. Excited. Finally, all day. That thing's three pounds at the most. <laughs> uh, but it, it fought, dude. It fought. But it's so funny with stripers. They like they put so much energy into the fight, and then like once you get them to come up, they kind of run out of energy. Yeah. But they always freak out when you grab them. And the bigger they are, and the bigger those travels are now, Oof, yeah. uh, it gets dangerous. You know, we experienced that the last time we went. Yeah. It's crazy. Oh, you were so oh, excited. That's awesome. Yeah, I was stoked. That was my first one ever. Beautiful. Yeah, but I had never Happy even birthday. seen I cut that right there because when I let it go in the water, it started to float a little bit. Yeah. It was kind of out of gas and I didn't realize it. Uh, yeah, you were nervous. It had so much energy fighting that I thought it was just going to take off uh, like a smallie. Like you could you know, fight them for two hours and the second they touch water, they're gone. Yeah. <clears throat> so I cut it there, but I had to actually grab him again and just kind of, you know, work him in a little bit and, and then he was fine. Yeah. But I wasn't expecting that. I thought he was just going <laughs> to take off. A largey, I always babysit. Yeah. I always get down in there. A striper, I've never 
never did that before. No. That was the first time I ever released the striper. Mm -hmm. All the other ones were out in the ocean and, and you kind of keep all those right. when you go out on a charter for that, like they keep them all. Yeah. And you know, I, I, I wouldn't, I still haven't kept a striper from there yet. No. I've only caught a couple of them, mm -hmm. um, mostly small ones. And then like I caught, you know, the one we lost five pounds, the one I threw back five pounds and then my PB the seven pounds on the, on the swim bait rod. And I, um, you know, I threw that back too, just yeah. cause it was my first big one. And yeah. I was, I just thought it was special. Some days are better than others. That's for sure. But that's why it's called fishing, not catching. New adventures coming soon. Aww. Subscribe. Wow. Thanks for watching. That's crazy, man. No intros, no outros. This is our third video ever. August 23rd, 2019. First time fishing at Castaic Lake. That's crazy. It's, it's, it's insane how far we've come since then. Like three years later, now I got you fishing, you got your own rod, you're yeah. catching fish. Isn't on the it drop crazy shop. that we have a video up where I'm not fishing? Yeah, that's wild. Yeah, you, you, didn't, you didn't know anything about it. No. Nothing. And you've learned so much since then. I know, you taught me but so even, much. But even me, I've learned so much since then. Oh, yeah. I had to relearn everything. everything. Yeah. Like at all the tech, not all the techniques that I used on the East Coast, but so many of the techniques that I use now, I didn't need on the East Coast. Right. It's just a different style of fishing. Cinco, fine. I've always threw the Cinco. Yeah. I've always threw your top water baits, stuff like that, but yeah. no swim baits. I wasn't using as light of gear as I have to use at Castaic to feel all the finesse stuff. Yeah. Um, it's just totally different, man. But yeah, we've come a long way. And then, you know, I started working the dam by myself and, and stuff like that and trying to figure it out. Got skunked millions of times. Oh yeah. Um, there was a there was a good maybe three month period where he was going fishing by himself and then coming home and saying I I, I suck. I am the worst fisherman ever. Yeah. Like I cannot catch a fish to save my life. I couldn't figure it out. You and know? then you just kind of you know made some tweaks and bought some new stuff and. It's a hard lake. Honed in on that. I mean, it's it's a really hard lake. Oh yeah, that and lake especially, will humble anybody. Especially when you're fishing from shore and yeah. you can't go find them. Yeah, exactly. And you're just kind of stuck walking. Exactly. Um, it's really tough. It's a tough lake, man. But I've learned a lot about it thanks to you know other YouTubers and Ron and mm -hmm. some other friends and stuff. You yeah. know, you learn a lot. And then you know the lagoon's a totally different animal. Yeah. But, but even then, like I would go there and I would just be like this, I don't understand. Yeah. Like you see Butch Brown, like pulling these monsters out and guys catching nice fish. And I, I would go and I, I would just try everything and mm -hmm. not, not get anything, man. And then finally just sticking with it. I finally got that PB, that monster mm -hmm. fish. We That's should, we should, so we should watch that video at some yeah, point. We should. Uh, Cause that was an emotional day for me. And that was pretty yeah. nuts. But that's, what's so crazy about Castaic and especially the lagoon is like probably eight times out of 10, you're going to get completely skunked. You're going to walk away you, with yeah. nothing. Unless right? you have a boat and you're out there yeah. with, uh, you know, a live scope and yeah. fish finder or whatever. But then that one out of 10, you're going to get maybe one, two, if you're really lucky, three fish that are decent. And then there's that maybe 1% of the time where you catch a friggin' monster and yeah, it is they're like, in there, man. The greatest day. Like, I you finally get it. I don't really think the, the big lake has large mouth. No. I like would say like lagoon, that anymore. Yeah. Uh, like the lagoon does. I mean, there's probably a few swimming around. Yeah. You know, nine, eight to ten pounds, you know. But it's yeah. not like it was back in the day. Not from what I hear everybody talk about how it used to be. Yeah. In the 90s and stuff. The striper, you know, everyone says the striper kind of took over. And, like, they take their, you know, the majority of the shad and whatever. And they're... The bass don't get as big. I don't know. That seems to be what everybody says. So, yeah. But it's a tough lake, man. And when you're first starting to learn that place, you know, it's it's frustrating. It's very discouraging. Oh yeah. Wow, uh, I can't tell you how many times, but I think that's maybe why I fell in love with fishing when I did, though, because you taught you taught me 
once you had a better grasp of fishing in California. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like if you had, if I had really started fishing with you when you were also trying to learn how to fish here, I think it would have been a different story. I think I would have wound up being so frustrated that I wouldn't have done it. Yeah, I don't understand. I, I can't believe like I never got you to fish in New Jersey. Yeah. You just like you would come and you would hang out with me when yeah. I'd fish, you know, mm -hmm. but you never seemed to show any interest in it. So I, I don't know. It's weird. I was just like, I don't know. She's just not into it. But you seem to enjoy it. And now I'm awesome. You're very good. You got way better. I'm very <laughs> proud of you. No, you are. You got to expand your base though. I mean, you're just throwing a drop shot, but hey. I know. I'm really good at that and nothing else. But it works. You're catching fish. Yeah. I mean, that's what it's about, man. But I get bored. Like, yeah. I like to try new stuff. I like other techniques and to try different baits. Like, it just gets boring Like if you're just using one technique. But yeah. if you're catching them, you're catching them. I know. You know what I mean? And that's why you're there. Yeah. So, once you get it down, like, it's just fun to, like, expand your, you know, <laughs> your knowledge. and. But you're a good teacher. Uh, I'm sorry if I get a little uh, impatient or, like, you know, whatever. You're allowed the to hardest be. part is trying to fish yourself yeah um and so like i basically like especially in the beginning like i had to basically say like all right dude just you know come to grips with the fact that like you're not gonna fish that much yeah. today you're gonna tie her knots you're gonna yeah you still don't even take your own fish off the hook that's my next thing yeah i can i can catch the fish i can tie my own knots you know you just gotta lip them but i gotta i gotta lip them, them and and no hesitation yeah. You know, um, and, and that's it. Once you, once you get them in that position, they're pretty much frozen. They might give you a shake, yeah. but that's it. Like, you know, the stripers are a different story. They're always freaking out. Yeah, yeah. Um, but, but no, you've gotten way better. And now you got your own pole and your own setup and mm -hmm. stuff. And it's way better. I love it way better now that you're out there and you're actually fishing. And yeah. that was distracting for me. Yeah. To look over and see you reading a book and getting sunburned or whatever and thinking like, she's miserable. Like, I'm thinking, like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. now you're there. You're doing the same thing as I am. And yeah. you're, I'm like, cool. She's into it. I mean, it. I never she's was She's thinking. She's, but, yeah. but you know what I mean? I was no, worried I about it. you. I was worried about your comfort being out there. Yeah, I she get hot? It. Is she burning? Is she bored? Is she, yeah, you know, whatever. So now you're standing up and you're fishing. And how fast does the time go when you're fishing compared it's to when you're just sitting so there? so annoying how fast the time goes. Right? But when you were sitting there reading a book or whatever, didn't it seem like it was just forever? Yeah, the day was... The day definitely seems longer yeah. when you're not fishing. But it goes like that when you're fishing. Yeah. It's crazy. Which is so annoying. Yeah, I know. It goes so fast, especially when... You get on the water at 6. You, well, see, that's you the cast thing, yeah. like once and it's 10 a.m. And you're like, what? I know. It's wild, right? And that's why I was so upset in the beginning of this because I knew. Like, you know, it's 8 o'clock, right? Jeez, it's 9 o'clock. We didn't get out there till like 10 o'clock in the morning. I know. 9, 10, that 9, was 30, a, 10. That was a weird, crazy. weird day. Very weird day. Like that that hadn't that hasn't happened to us like that since. I mean we get we always end up getting out there later than I want to get. Well of even course. if I'm like first in line, yeah. I'm already like the sun came up a freaking half hour ago. <laughs> like get it together. Yeah. yeah. But you get caught in that line, man, that, that really stinks. But yeah. so that's the very first time we ever rented a boat at Castaic Lake. She wasn't fishing. I had no idea what was going on. I was just told the stripers are boiling, throw some top water at them. That's it. I didn't have the right type of gear. But um, but it's cool, man. I mean, I did catch that one, and, and it was worth it. Yeah. It was cool. It was a good little little striper, probably three pounds, something like that. But yeah, man, we've come a long way since then, right? Oh yeah. Crazy. If you want to see more director commentary type video, let us know in the comments what videos of ours you'd like to hear more about or hear some more behind the scenes stuff about. It's it's kind of fun to look back and, and rewatch it and see where we were and yeah. relive the days of you yeah. know that type of stuff. It's cool, you know. And uh, hopefully you guys get a little more entertainment value out of it. Just hearing what we went through behind the scenes and stuff. Yeah. And like what we were thinking or dealing with. So it's kind of cool. I, I kind of had fun watching this. It's, it just blows my mind to see like how much deeper the water was. All the different structure that is yeah. miles up in the sky now. Yeah, that's nuts. It's just crazy to me. It's just a totally different lake. But yeah, we've come a long way, man. It's cool. So that's it, man. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to drop a like. And if you're into this sort of thing, don't forget to hit subscribe. We put a new video out every week. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Later. If you want to see more videos just like this one, be sure to check out the rest of the Where We Wild YouTube channel. 
where we post a brand new video every week. And don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon so you get notified whenever we post a new adventure. Thanks for watching.